Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Because, you know, yes. when you pimping, see, worst thing you could do when you pimping, you don't want to lie to a hoe. You know, you gotta, you know, I want a bitch wide awoke while I'm piffing. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, this can happen, that can happen, this can happen. You know, you go to jail, this can happen, you might right. go to jail. And when the bitch know the truth, she gonna hold up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not blow up. You know what right. I mean? That's that's why most of the bitches I deal with stayed with me four or five years because but, I kept but it so Ronald real. said that, that he, he, when we was talking about it, uh, he said sometimes you'll even like you said you you happy he called because you know she not in the hospital or not not locked up. But he said he, he, he was happy. Though. He said he would go as far as telling them what she like, like uh, you know she like this it or just, she might it, need that or she, she might need this. But if you dealing with another gentleman that's been in this shit for a while, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be smooth. He gonna probably give you some game. He'll tell you a little bit about the female. You know what I'm really? saying? Y'all may meet up. Talk, you know what I'm saying? I met up with a guy, we done talked, had a drink. He did, we done exchanged. After he took her from him. Yeah, he done brought me her clothes because she got her belongings. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we meet up, he bring me the clothes. That's we may real. meet up at a titty bar or something. We have some drinks. He may tell me, you know, a few things about him. You know, he may give me some game and woo woo woo. And then it's cool. We're cordial. It depends. If yes. HB knock me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to spin him. You know, like I get, I get a sample, man. I shouldn't say this, but you know, it's, it's over thirty years ago. It's one nigga, man. You know, I say I talked about it in my book. He a fly nigga, may rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? He a fly nigga. You know what I'm saying? He a lot of jewelry. You know, pretty nigga, light skinned nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, typical shit back in the early, you know, late seventies and shit. You know, so one of the bras was fucking with me. Uh, you know, she 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 didn't get out on me. She made a mad move. So a mad move said she didn't want to be with me no more. You know what I'm saying? So she didn't choose up. So when she left me, you know, he ended up with her. So you know what I'm saying? After she had left me. So when he when he ended up with her, you know what I'm saying? He said, yeah, man, you know, it's a courtesy call. That's that's what you call a courtesy call. It ain't a servant. He said, it's a courtesy call. He said, yeah, man. He said, man, you know, uh, yeah, I got the bitch. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Man, I just want to make sure, you know what I'm saying? You know, that the bitch don't, you know, woo, woo, woo. Oh, you're pimping and nothing like that, right? Now, I knew this nigga, you understand me, was getting in the game, but he really was double-breasted, so he had work on this end, he had the bitch on this end, so he was selling dope. Yeah. Every time I smell a nigga, he smell like cocaine. I was like, damn, nigga smell like a kilo, you know what I mean? Nigga smell like straight dope, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I said, this nigga know he's selling dope, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know what I'm saying, I really didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't you know, I, I didn't respect his pimping so like that. So that's a black eye in the game, if, no. he's, if he hustling and selling yeah, dope? No, no, that's, that's okay. called, that's called uh, double-breasted, being double-breasted, mixing the game, right? So, so, I, I, now, now, now. And that was a bad thing. No, no, no yeah, hell yeah, it's bad. Because you know you you you, 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 cheat, you cheating everybody that's around you. So 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 he he get the bra right. He told me bra. So I said, say man, I said I said uh I said man, the bra owed me some money, right? You know what I'm saying? He said he said yeah. So I said yeah, man. Let, uh, let, let me put a check in on the bra. Let me pull over here and check it. So he said yeah, go ahead and check. So I checked the bra. You know, grilled and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And you know I said cool. You know what I'm saying me. So he said, hi, right, man, you know. So uh, about a couple weeks later, she called me. She said, yeah, daddy, I want to come back home. I said, come on home, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So she came home. I said, before you come home, bitch, I know you know you know you made a fatal mistake, right? I said, no, I don't respect that nigga pimping at all. She said, yeah, I know, daddy. He ain't no pimp. I said, well, give me the nigga jewelry and give me the money. Mm. So she brought me all his jewelry and all his money. So uh, I told him, I said, say, man, you know, that bitch didn't got out, right? He said, yeah. I said, man, this bitch took your jewelry. He said, she took my jewelry. I said, yeah, man, all that shit, man. I said, man, come get your jewelry. So I gave him the jewelry. He said, yeah, man, did she take some money too? I said, nah, she said the money came from a trick, pal. I said, I ain't giving no money up, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where the money come from, right? So he said, all right, man. So, you know, I got the money. I gave him the jewelry back. He was happy. He had like about, maybe about $100,000 of the jewelry. It's a lot of jewelry. So I gave him all the jewelry back. He said, man, can I check the bra? I said, nigga, I ain't gonna let you check my hoe, nigga. He said, I'll let you check the hoe. I said, no, man. I said, man, you miss pimping, man. I said, man, I'm not gonna let you check this hoe. Right. So in cases like that, you know, I'll put a nigga in a twist. Yeah. But if it's a major pimp or a nigga that's really pimping, then, you know, hey, yeah, what's up, man? You know, here go the bra and ID, you know what I'm saying? Say, man, you know, here go clothes, you dig, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, man. You know, I mean, you're yeah, happy pimping, man. You know wow. what I'm saying? Oh, right. yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, it's so, serious. So it depends, it depends on who. It depends on who who who's serving me, you know what I'm saying. I mean, now of course, you know I've been served way more times since then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But New York, this is the first time I got served. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one.
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.